Zone at 91.3 presents The B-Side. Dan Gunn, man. Hey, Dan. How you doing? Good, dude. It's so good to see you. I can't believe Jason's not here. I've been away for a few weeks, and I come back, and I don't get any time with him. Yeah, he said something along the lines of, uh, Dan's coming back. Screw him. I'm out of here. I, was, uh, I don't know I, what that know was what? about. I got him a nice calendar and a t-shirt in the Yukon. <laughs> But I guess I'll give it to somebody else now. Yeah, he likes those gifts whenever you go yeah, away. Well, so you you traveled around a little bit. You did uh, some speaking engagements in uh, Vancouver, Yukon, and Calgary. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was on the road talking. There's a, a thing called Startup Canada. They're a national group that tries to encourage entrepreneurship throughout the country and get them together. And um, they are doing a national tour, and they asked me to do a couple of keynotes talking about what we've done here in Victoria and 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 how we did it. And so... Uh, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of things I uh, admire and love about you, but one of them is you actually walk the walk, the, the preach that you have here on the show about you know being so proud of what's going on here in Victoria. And here you are now going to other provinces around the country and being like, no, seriously, Victoria is crushing it right now and here's how you can do the same. Yeah, you, one of the things that's great about being from here is I, I'll go to a lot of places. I won't name any one of the cities that I was just in that maybe is struggling more than another. I don't want to kick them while they're <laughs> down. Um, but people can't believe um, what's going on in Victoria. They're blown away by it. Um, what's really special though is a lot of people who are on a, on a tour like that and they're talking about a place, they're only talking about the highlights. Mm -hmm. They're, they're kind of telling everybody what they aspire to be. And all I do is say what Victoria already is, right? And that's, so the foundation is so strong that, it, and most people, you know, we're only 350,000 people. We do get three and a half million visitors a year, but a lot of people haven't been here or they've only been here once and they remember the Empress and, and Butchart. Right. Um, cause that's where their grandmother took them when they came here in 1989, Right, and so when you get on the road and you show them what's happened in the city, especially in the last ten years, they just they're they're gobsmacked. So speaking of which, uh, you have a really cool B side today yeah. about some amazing technologies happening out uh, in West Saanich. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's a company in town called Redland Technologies. They've actually been here um, almost fifteen years, and uh, they make um, the sensors that go into all kinds of gear. Uh, things like CAT scan machines, things like um, cancer scanners, like for, for, for mammographies, um, uh, scanners for uh, security at airports to find, uh, you know, whether or not it's to find metals or it's to find explosives. But they make, there's only four companies in the world that can do what they do. The other ones are in like the UK, Japan, and I'm not sure where the fourth one is. Only four in the world. And they build these things and they put them in these machines that are saving lives. And, and, and you, they, they actually combine metals, like they grow crystals by taking three hard metals um, and then they, they put them into these furnaces and they grow these crystals and they've gotten the process so good that the purity of the crystal is so strong and then they wafer cut these things into different sizes depending on what they're trying to detect. Then they have the technology to vaporize platinum and gold so that it sticks to the polished um, wafers that they've cut which becomes the sensors that can pick up all the uh, all the information that people are looking for for these different applications. It's mind blowing. Crystals still blow my mind. The fact that a crystal is the key to all of these amazing technologies it still boggles my mind. Well, and, and these crystals, they don't look like what you would expect. They, they're like a cylinder long. Um, uh, maybe they're 18 inches long, and they're probably like two uh, an inch and a half, two two and a half inches w around circumference and they grow them in these furnaces which takes like a month to actually grow them and to get the process right so that they don't get a bunch of fractures and impurities along the way is the real secret because you need a perfect so they used to use like special scanning tools to look at the crystal and figure out where the the faults were and then cut them out now they're so good at it that they just cut them up into the sizes that they need as they as they bring them out it's incredible so how does a company uh so significant like this thrive in Victoria of all places. So that, I'm glad you asked that because I hadn't thought to tell this part of the story. So the, the, the founder of Redland was, was living in trail and he got a hold of this technology um, while he was there and he had the freedom to go anywhere he wanted. So he's like, well, I don't want to be in trail. Not, uh, I'm not sure what, what his issue with trail was, but he's like, let's move to Vancouver with his wife. So they were in Vancouver for a few years and they came over and visited Victoria for like a week and they went, Screw that. We're moving to Victoria. <laughs> so they came here and started this company. They just brought the technology. And the reason they can do that is if you're making some of the um, the highest definition, highest quality sensors that are required around the world, guess what? You don't have to be 
in a specific power center. You don't have to be in New York or London or LA or wherever wherever the uh, the, the manufacturers are making the, this gear. You can be anywhere, and and because what you're sh- what you're selling, like their crystals make up forty percent of the cost of those machines because they're not easy. Like they take months to make and polish, and a lot of proprietary um, uh, intelligence goes into making that uh, and process. Um, so you can be anywhere, and and so if you can be anywhere. People like to choose islands in the Pacific, and if they're Canadian, uh, all the better. Amazing. So what's the website? Always check the B-side.com. Dan Gunn, thanks, buddy.